Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you the new image widget that comes with caption and you can actually make it like a card type of a display view. So let's get into that. Basically adding an image widget, a normal image widget onto the page and let's select uh, an image for it and uh, let's stretch it so it's easier to see. Uh, let's resize it a bit so it's easier for, uh, for preview. Now Inside the widget, you now have the add image caption. So that will allow you to add this caption. And this is the default view. This is the overlapping of the image, which is at the bottom by default. So there you can add your headline and your caption for the image uh, text caption for the, the whole thing. If you want, you can also add a call to action. So from here, you can enable the call to action and you can access the settings for it, like the link and text styling. You can also add an overlay. So the overlay allows you to add basically an overlay of the image if you want to have some, some uh, somewhat of an overlay on top of it. It is optional, so if you want, you can add that as well. Now, what are the options for the actual caption itself? From here, you can select what kind of a caption it is. First is the overlapping, then you have on mouse over, which you cannot see right now, but when you close and go on top of it, you see the caption itself. It's basically on top of the image and it shows when you go with the mouse on top of it and then you have over the image. So this is basically the same as the over, but it is always visible. It doesn't require for you to go on top of it with the mouse. And then you have the options for the caption box. So if you're on the first one, you have the ability to add it on top or at the bottom. When it is on top, it is basically like this uh, and on the bottom is is uh, at the bottom side. You can change things such as the font color of the whole thing, of the headline in this case, and on the font itself, that is the content. Here, you can adjust the, the text size, the, the whole overall size of the caption as well. So play around with this text so you can adjust the sizes. Now, if you're on the, for example, the image on top of it, now we have slightly different options. So now here you have at the bottom, which is you know, the regular one you have at the top, which is shows on the top, in the middle, which is again in the middle, and you have the option for a full size. So basically the, this full size is making something like a card. So when you're on top of the image, basically, that is pretty much being replaced with this information that you have uh, for the caption. So this is really cool if you want to showcase some kind of information when somebody overs of an, an image. So. These are the options. You can modify again the colors, for example. Uh, it's really easy and straightforward to modify your design. So let's just create another widget. So just to see what is the difference between the different um, options. So let's just add it like this. So we have the two images um, and with the other option at the bottom. Let's save and preview and you see the options here. Basically, this is your hover option with a full size and this is your normal caption, which is at the bottom. So this is the image widget and the different options for adding a caption. It's really easy, really fun. And again, you can add an overlay as well if you want to add to your whole image experience. So this is the captions. You can remove or add them with this toggle inside at the bottom of your image widget. So this is it. I hope that you enjoy this new modification of the image widget and uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the image captions and is there some designs that you want to see as options for the layout. All right, talk to you in the next video.